All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is Wednesday, and I just woke up at 10, 1030 in the morning, and you know what time it is? It's time for me to read these patch notes because these patch notes aren't going to read themselves. As you can see, I just woke up because I didn't even do anything with my hair. This looks like a hot mess up here, so I apologize for looking like a disheveled bum, but you know what? Maybe that's maybe that's just what we all are deep down inside. But regardless, you didn't come here for my fantastic hair or my fantastic beard or to see me actually make any sense whatsoever. You came here for the patch notes, and that's what I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you the patch notes, and we got a ton of stuff to talk about today. First up, equipment conversion system update now first off what i already found in discord this morning was that we're only gonna get this like twice a month kind of like the runes and people are already absolutely mega butt hurt over that which is gonna make for some very good uh tea sipping reading this morning after i get done with these patch notes but let's take a look at this oh up here too they just kind of noticed noted that finally the arena honor season two will begin december 2nd uh, literally like just up there. I'm sure they'll talk about it later on too, but regardless equipment conversion system update and equipment conversion function will be added to the alchemist steeple with this update. Players will be able to more easily customize equipment so that the level set grade and main stat are more, more closely resemble the equipment they desire to have. Now that does still leave your substats at a random random, the whim of the RNG gods, which for everybody else is going to be really good for me. It's going to be absolute garbage. Players will be able to access this function by going to Sanctuary Alchemist Steeple and improving the laboratory to its second level, which you probably should already have it improved already. But regardless, an equipment conversion menu will be added to the Alchemist Steeple. New equipment added. Weapon Corona, a sword forged from synthetic metal. Its sturdiness varies depending on the strength of its maker. Okay, so this is just going to literally be uh, the name of whatever comes out of the Alchemist Steeple. Nothing really all that, uh, all that special or anything. Regardless, okay, equipment conversion gem. This item will give players the main stat that they wish to have and will be added with this update. The equipment conversion gem types. Equipment conversion gems will be divided into two groups, essence and font, which will enhance the main option differently. Attack essence, uh, attack font. So you can get uh, flat attack or attack percent. Who, who is going to get flat attack essences for any of their gear whatsoever? Nobody. That's who. Nobody's going to buy that. Literally, no one is going to ever buy that. Actually, I take that back. Somebody's going to buy it, and then they're going to complain about it. That's what's going to happen. Okay, so anyways. The, all right, cool. Uh, a chest containing epic, uh, epic conversion gems will be added. Yikes. Okay, so these are going to cost 15 silver transmit stones or 150 commander armbands. Now, personally... I don't really have any use for commander armbands right now. And uh, mm, this also comes from world boss rewards. So there's that. But man, 15 silver transmit stones is a lot for just being able to pick your main stat. Like you should be able to do that for freezies. Uh, definitely kind of yikes on that. I mean, you already have enough stuff that uses silver transmit stones that, um, you know, you've got your self your your self trans uh imprint thing costs a bunch you have your molagoras which you have to buy i've already started stop buying gold dogs because i need to save them so 15 15 transmit stones for this that is gonna definitely i'm not happy about that so yeah okay the equipment conversion page will display the list of alchema alchemist equipment that can be crafted Six pieces of equipment, one of each type of equipment. Okay, cool. You put this, you put this thing in here, and then uh, wouldn't be a wouldn't be a patch notes without yawning. Um, then you slam a bunch of stuff in here. I think we all know how that uh, how that goes. Uh, but after the equipment conversion gem that corresponds with the main stat you wish to correct has been wish to craft has been chosen 
uh, equipment selection will begin. The selected ingredients will be added to the ingredient slot at the bottom of the screen. Players can only select ingredients that match the equipment type they wish to craft. So if you want attack or crit, you slam attack and crit stuff in there. So, yeah. Um, if you epic guaranteed, so if you go to all the way to epic, you're guaranteed an epic. So for 15 transmit stones, a whole bunch of one type of gear, you are guaranteed an, an, an epic piece of gear with the main stat, the set that you want. And unfortunately the sub stats that you do not want. I mean, look at this one right here. Although the icon for that looks really freaking cool. Um, also wait, hold on, hold up, hold up. Is the potential level for this 55 to 85? Do you literally have a random chance to, to le get a level 55 piece of epic equipment? Cause that's what it looks like on there. Oh, it's based on the level of gear that you put in there. So if you put, if you put just 85 stuff in, you'll get 85. The picture here literally confuses the crap out of me because they put two pieces in there. Figure, figure your pictures out a little bit better next time okay so world boss update okay fantastic world i hope that that's how that is that's how i would assume that that is world boss update the world boss is awakened from their slumber leading your heroes to battle against this threat if you gain points in world boss battles these points will be reflected to your individual and your guild's ranking for honor and glory you will join the members of your guild and work together to protect orbis from the beasts that threaten its safety. With speaking of, if you guys are looking for a PvP and world boss guild, the Shogunate is recruiting a couple of slots. Uh, go to my Discord. Message me, paychecks, snow, if you're looking for it. If you're challenger and above and you can uh, do world boss, we are, we're looking to PvP pvp our faces off here so anyways uh how the world how to unlock it after reaching account rank 50 or higher players will be able to access the world boss world boss entrance rules uh eligible participants players enrolled in a guild with an account rank of 50 or higher 20 energy consumed per battle entrance limits maximum of two battles per day the number of entries allowed may change at a later date co team composition Minimum of two teams with eight heroes selected must be selected in order to begin the battle. Maximum of three teams with 12 heroes plus supporters. Four supporters, four support heroes. Interesting. Three teams, four support heroes. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, the world boss entry will reset. Follow your server time. Okay, cool. World boss battle method. In order to participate, you just go to Guild Wars and then world boss, which we've been looking at for a long time here. Yeah. If your world boss is not available, then the timer will the, display the amount of time until the next world boss is available. Okay, so he takes over the entirety of this place. Uh, players will be able to see the current status of the world boss on the world map. Players will be able to see the rankings of the most recently fought world boss battles on the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, supporter selection. Supporters, a team that will aid you as you battle the world boss. Players will be able to select a team of supporters from heroes, which will be selected by their fellow guild members, or players will be able to select a team of NPC supporters. During the preseason, only NPCs, NPC supporters are available. Players will only be able to select one party of supporters from a guild member once per day. However, NPC supporters will have no such limitations. Supporters are included in bonus calculations and the bow and the points that supporters acquire during the battle will be included in your total score. Okay, so you have three and then you have some extra team here. Minimum of eight heroes, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you have all of these dudes out here at one time. World boss battles will be conducted automatically. On the world boss battle screen, players will be able to see both total 
score as well as the score of each individual hero after a player battle after a player has completed the first battle there will be they will be able to skip the next battle by tapping the skip button okay fantastic bonuses um hmm. all right so we've got nvps here we get some chests fantastic triple s will net you seven chests so it will be actually really important to get your uh to get your way get your way through this um in order to because like with uh hollow trials you just get like one extra um currency per thing this one is actually kind of important because you get those uh you get the what you call it the gear things the gear things um let's see a hero that has participated in the first world boss battle will not be able to participate in subsequent world boss battles. However, if a player has two of the same hero and hero A has already participated in the battle, hero B will be able to join the subsequent battle. Hashtag whales pay to win world bosses. I need three Moonlight Kens. As you can see up here, uh, Moonlight Ken was the MVP, so I'm just going to need to get like three of them. Easy, easy peasy. The toe score, um, got that. All right. <sighs> Players will be able to earn bonus points, uh, after fulfilling certain conditions when participating in a world boss battle. Uh, you'll be able to see that during the, uh, during the thing here. So let's see. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, enhanced element is fire. Friday, Saturday, Sunday is ice. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the next week is earth. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday is light and dark. Okay, so we rotate every two weeks here. Um, World boss is available twice per week for 18 hours each day. Okay, why is it only 18 hours each day? That's weird. Uh, every Thursday, players will be unable to battle the world boss. There will be a six-hour rest period after the end of one world boss and the start of the next world boss. Players can take advantage of different enhanced elements depending on the day of the week with a two-week, 14-day rotation schedule. Players will be able to receive a bonus by selecting heroes of the given enhanced element during that time. Okay, cool deal. So let's see this level one, dude, there's no way that this level one guild pulled 3.1 million hackers, literal, literal hackers right there. They need to get their stuff a, a banned. Also this count up here at the top, easily, easily hacking e 108 million while number two and number three only pulled in 3 million smile geek, get your act together, get these characters banned. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Uh, okay, so this one, you've got different players here. I'm pretty sure whoever this rank, well, rank 60. Ooh, dude, rank 50 pulling 1.8 million and number three spot. Unacceptable, guys. Come on. Come on. This Tamron's a hacker. Tamron is a hacker. Okay, so we got the battle rewards. Get seven chests. Holy crap. This is so much stuff here. Uh, breezy earth connections, uh, more earth connections, fire connections, got some breezy, fierce and frost ones, um, equipment conversion gems. I don't know what these earth connections are. I'm sure they'll tell me here in a minute. Uh, gold transmit stones, molagoras. You can get molagoras out of here. That's actually like probably the thing that is most important to me. Um, level 70 to 85 hunt equipment times one. No, we get your level 70. Get your level 70 equipment out of here. Like, I hate the fact that level 70 equipment is in high rank stuff. Uh, it's garbage. Just get it out of my, get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. Um, rank D stuff sucks. Uh, 41 to 45 hunt equipment. That's going to be worthless because that's really what we're going to end up getting. One homemade snack. People are going to get super triggered the moment that they get one homemade snack. Um, or some level 45 gear. That's what's gonna, that's what's gonna happen on this. They're gonna have to reevaluate some of these, some of these, um, rewards in here, because I can already tell you right now, uh, if I get 4,000 gold garbage, 40, 41 to 55 hunt equipment, garbage, five common runes, garbage, uh, the penguins I'm okay with. I don't want a two-star penguin. It should be a three-star minimum. 
Uh, equipment conversion gem is cool. One homemade snack, trash. Uh, one pet adoption ticket, eh, not bad. Uh, ten powder of knowledge, I'm excited. That's fine. Two silver transmit stones, mm, I don't know, maybe. Uh, one lesser or greater charm, un unacceptable. Uh, one rare or epic catalyst, that's fine. Uh, everything above that is cool, but like the lesser greater charm, garbage. Uh, two transmit stones needs to be bumped up. Pet adoption ticket, get it out of here. Homemade snack, get it out of here. Uh, equipment conversion gem, perfectly fine. Three star penguin or bust, get the common runes, the 41 to 55 and 4,000 gold out of here. Like minimum, this should be like 10K gold. Like, so what, what are you going to get? Like a save, even if you got gold on everything, was that 70K gold? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Absolute, absolute poop right there. Um, Hutch's pop-up shop. The, the scamster is back. The scamster is back, though. 250 sky stones for a Molagora is pretty, pretty solid. Uh, they probably understood after, like, the last couple that they put out that everybody was like, bro, this is a... This is a mad scam right here. Uh, don't buy any of this. Um, 400 sky stones for four mystic pulls isn't bad. That's kind of the same as uh, just buying straight up bookmarks. So that's not terrible. Uh, don't buy the random level 70 equipment. Uh, that's poop. Uh, the eagle fragment for 400 or for 200 is actually pretty good. The mola for 250 is actually really really solid. Um, I will probably buy the random level 85 epic equipment for 200 sky stones. Um, I may buy the four to five star ticket for 960 cause that's like a 10 pull and you get a guaranteed four or five star. Eh, I don't know, but I know I'm going to buy the mole. I'm going to buy the mystic metals and I'm going to buy the ego fragment minimum minimum. Uh, yeah. So, time reset items, Hutch's Bonza bana Bargain Bonanza, what the f- okay, There's Mystic Galaxy Bookmarks in here? I'd buy that Galaxy Bookmark. I'd buy the Epic Armor Charm, those two Greater Artifact Charms for 200, easy. Easy. Every 12 hours, regardless of whether they've been purchased or not, time reset will be reset and new time reset items will be randomly placed into the pop-up shop. Time reset items will be reset and new time reset items will randomly. Okay. Time reset items will be displayed at the bottom of the special pop-up uh, item list. New clock symbol. Number of time reset. Number of time reset items is six. So we're going to get six of them. Okay, cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, so we are going to have the next part of arena season coming out arena victory season season three i don't even i don't know why they're calling them uh certain things on seasons literally people are just going to call them season three season four season five so just you naming them is is an absolute waste of your time um okay so the victory see the hall of fame for victory season arena three will be unveiled fantastic um so each play, each week players will be able to learn glory chess based on their league ranking. Um, okay, cool. That's some typical stuff right there. Every week players between 1 and 100 season points based on their league ranking. Okay. For legend people, arena story new part. You know about most of the um the unknown slate all that stuff. Let's look at Let's look at this gear. And of course, what did they pick to go with? Hit set. What does nobody really use in this game? The hit set. You know why? Because you could have 5,000% XP. And guess what? You're still going to have 15% chance to not land that debuff because get effed. That's why. Okay, so they're going to put... Wow, these speed stats are, or these sub stats are pretty... Garbo, this whole set is pretty yikes, actually. Uh, it's this interesting, interesting option here. Okay, so you got, <clears throat> and they couldn't even go with like 7 or 8% on these to make these a little more, like, lucrative. 
I mean, you've got effect, resist, effectiveness, health, speed, defense, effectiveness, effectiveness, or effect, resist, speed. I mean, you got four speed on like literally everything except for the boots. So I'm kind of hoping that some of these roll like massive amounts of speed for me, but they're all going to roll into like effect, resist or something along those lines. I mean, look at this hat attack, crit chance, effectiveness, speed. It's not even 6%. I, th I don't think you can get 6% crit chance anyways, regardless. Um, the chest even kind of sucks right now. Uh, crit chance, crit damage, effectiveness, effect resist. This ring is kind of poop. Attack, defense, effect. Well, no, actually, I take that back. The, the ring's not bad. If it rolls into, like, speed, you got health on that. That's okay. Uh, a hit crit damage neck with crit chance speed and attack is not the worst thing in the world but again hit set is pretty much pretty hot garbage uh faithless litica oh uh, yeah i will be rolling for this uh actually is it in is it in right now it should be in right now for mystic summons no it's not We've got 11 hours, so I'll be rolling for this tomorrow. Or in, in a Yeah, tomorrow. I'll roll for this tomorrow. Regardless, Faithless Lydica, I have talked about her in previous videos. I think that she is going to be a niche character, but she's going to be amazing at what she does. I am uh, pretty, pretty hype about her. But I'll tell you what she does if you don't know what she does already. So her S1 Thorn attacks with a sword with a 60% chance to decrease hit chance for one turn. This can go up to 65, 70, 75% chance. 75% chance to inflict uh, decreased hit chance. That's really big because I'll tell you what, man. Like decreased hit chance is is pretty pretty good in PvP. Be, it misses on top of like a Mursa who already is gonna have evasion on is pretty nice. Now her S2 binds all enemies with a sword with an 85% chance to dispel one buff, increasing combat readiness of the caster by 25% per target and all other allies by 5% per target. Skill cannot trigger a, tar a counter attack. This is good for Elbrus Ritual Swords, ML Ken, literally anybody with counter attacks. Oh, you're going to counter me and then provoke me? Oh, guess what? You're not going to. Now, this does get a 100% chance to remove a buff. Now, some people are going to come out and be like, Meh. but Fallen CC directly counters her because you can't strip immunity effects because you're stripping You'll be stripping the, uh, you'll just be stripping the, the shield off. Okay. Well, that's cool, man. Don't run her against fallen CC. And then you don't, you don't have a problem L or literally just run like, I don't know, man, like bizarre or something. And then use her as a CR pusher. She got 20% CR push to the rest of the team and hundred percent CR push to herself. Now, don't get me wrong because it's CR push. She can get, she can get cut in line by like her, not her auto, like somebody, somebody, maybe I like, I don't know who would do that. Um, but you do have that potential there because it is a CR push and not just a direct extra turn. You can be cut in line, but uh, yeah, use her. You, you think, think outside the box, man. Don't just go, oh, well, <laughs> fall on CC's in the game. So literally this character is garbage. This literal, this literal character is completely worthless. Don't even pull her ever because uh, fallen Cecilia is, is in the game. And you know, in RTA, guess what? You just ban fallen Cecilia. Easy clap. Everyone's either going to ban her or pick her. You just, just take her out of the game. You got to have a bunch of different tools in your toolbox, man. Not everything can be a, not everything can be an all purpose multi-tool. Sometimes you need a hammer. Sometimes you need a pair of calipers. Okay. Maybe this character is a pair of calipers. All right. You don't hit a nail with a pair of calipers or maybe you do. I don't know. Like I'm not your boss. I'm not your real dad. You do whatever you want, but I'm fucking rolling for this because I mean, you know, the other thing too is use this later on. You don't have to use it right out of the gate. I mean, it's really fucking good right out of the gate, but still 
Re okay, regardless, I've ranted enough about that. Let's get on to Hysteria. Attacks an enemy, indiscriminately increasing skill cooldown to max. Soulburn ignores effect resistance. So this is actually really, really cool. Oh, the other thing too, her S2 is on a four turn cooldown, which is pretty, pretty quick. Uh, so... You got a Crow on the other team? Guess what? You're not getting an S3. You got a Dark Corvus? Get F. This is a direct counter to Dark Corvus. Because guess what? Within nine turns, chances are you're going to reset that. And if you can't kill him in the time it takes to reset that, plus you're probably making her super, super fast, uh, she's going to lap him a bunch of times and have this up by the time that he can get his S3s off get dunked on okay so you have a tam sarah an assyria dark corvus team okay so your Syria goes first resets his cooldowns he's probably really slow guess what oh now it's done now it's gone mm, wrecked get wrecked get wrecked kid i think that this character is going to be very very good in rta and is excels at locking down specific characters you got the cr push manipulation you've got the chance to miss on her the s1 you've got the reset all your whole ass cooldowns to you know to max on the s3 i think that she's going to be very very solid in rta and in very niche situations again i'm 100 percent rolling on her because uh just like dj basar you got to think outside the box. A lot of people still think the DJ Basar is garbage, but if you take a look up in Legend, you'll see a lot of DJ Basars up there. Rant time about that and PvP is over. We're going to talk about Ravi and Sigurd Scythe drop rate. First off, like me some Ravi. I like me some Sigurd Scythe. I may roll a little bit, but there was a leak of a character coming on the Korean um, live stream, which I don't think is here. I might pull it up and do something about it later when things get like data mined, but probably limited new character right after this banner is up. So we'll see what the data mine holds. I do. I could use some more Sigurd sites and I definitely could use some more Ravi's. I was hoping for like a Charles banner that would have sucked a ton of money out of the out of the community. But no, we got Ravi. So if you need to if you need some Ravi's for your uh, a Ravi. Uh, who also is garbage if you listen to the internet. Um, boom, there you go. Not only that, but regular Ravi is an absolute monster as well with a Sigurd Scythe or a Dorado. doesn't matter. Put a slap a Sigurd Scythe on her, watch her never die. Um, the other thing, too, is if you notice, they're really pushing grass a lot and fire, which I think they're going to try to uh, try to crap on the water meta. So, I mean, you've already got people like Charles, you've got people like Basar. So, you know, what does Ravi do? Ravi comes back through and just poops on both of them. Uh, plus, after the buffs, regular Fire Ravi got pretty, pretty strong. Um, elemental Summons added. How to use Elemental Summon? Summon since Elemental Summon. Select Elemental Summon button. Select the element you wish to summon. Select Normal or Special Summon. New currencies will be added to allow players to summon specific Elemental Heroes. This currency can be obtained as a reward from the Elemental Boss Battles. Okay, so this is what we were talking about here. Breezy Earth Connection. You can summon a four to five star earth hero, fire hero. This is actually really, really cool. So if you're narrowing things down, let's say, oh man, I really don't have enough fire characters. You get the fierce, fierce fire connection. You can get a four to five star fire hero. So for me, that's what I'm going to be pulling because I need that Kiwana uh, because I haven't pulled her yet, even though I spent a bunch of money on covenant summons. Yeah. Hero introduction, the video added, <laughs> except your video doesn't work. Additional improvements and fixes, obviously not this video. When a new hero is added after an update, a video introducing that hero will be played. The new hero introduction video will only be played the once upon the first login after the update. For new players, the video will play after, the after they enter the lobby after clearing stage 110. Players can exit the video at any time by tapping the skip button. Okay, cool deal. Uh, improvements have been made to so the chain color of Furious's illustration in the game. Don't care. Uh, something about Aether's skin. Did we actually change anything that isn't just text? Remove skills acquired. Um, 
uh, passive skill mana explosion didn't work as intended. Uh, episode story improvements. All right, pet. An issue where if two or more pet skills were selected, text would overlap. Okay, so nothing. All right, let's read the top. Let's read the top stove comments here. Why is everything like pulling teeth with you people? I've spent too much money and time to quit at this point, and you know it. That's why you keep pulling things like that on people who just want to support you. I guess it's time to give up on the auto repeat system and get uh, get ting any get ting get teen any improvements but at least the community tried all i want was to do all i wanted was to do was all i wanted was to do was to learn how to speak english was finally be able to gear units that i thought looked cool i've had these dudes and gals for months and i just can't find gear for any of them Oh, maybe this uh, word wrap up here. Sorry about the getting thing. Uh, you look forward to a gear check raid battle where it's fully auto and a skip button to be done with it. Not to mention for 20 stamina, you only get 6k gold and 5 to 6 normal runes from level 1 to 3 altar and a twice a month gear craft. Imagine getting a quadruple flat stat from, from it. You can't because it's a gear craft, dude. It's... Literally a gear. Oh, yeah, you could get a uh, quadruple flat substats. You said, okay. And 24 unique and 24 unique hero because the same hero can't be used twice. Ooh, ooh, wow. Want more salt? All, uh, yeah, dude, they are super bad. Uh, good luck getting 35 effect resistance on it. Dude, the thing is, though, is if you get 35% effect resistance on all of it, just literally put it on somebody and they will never, they'll be the Teflon Don, never get. A, a thing on them uh ooh, comments should be juicy today they will they will this game is looking darker than my future that's already dark as a vant black i don't get that reference i don't get that reference dude okay anyways next thing next thing smile gates mega ports customer service chat bot don't really care got a chat bot don't hesitate to ask our chat bot anything people are going to ask it uh what is the meaning of life uh you know who who was best girl things like that uh hutch's pop-up shop we already looked at that uh free unequip event we just had one we've got another one which is actually good because I left a bunch of random ass gear on a bunch of characters that I didn't need that gear on. And so now I can move it back to where I need it to be. Also put all of my gear on my wild Angra because this dog right here is not the only one that needs to be geared. Odin, do you need to be geared? Can I, can I gear you up during the, um, during the unequip, unequip event? You're such a good pupperino. I'll level you to 60 next. Okay, so next up, Epic Fridays, November buff event. Okay, so we're gonna get uh we're gonna get our buff event this week, which is stellar because I'm gonna be 24 hour streaming for Black Friday. So what do I get? What do I get? I get uh you know what? Doesn't matter. I'm gonna be doing both of them. I'm gonna be doing both of them. Fantastic. Why do I have Hutch's pop-up shop event twice on here? Okay, Google Play points sales notification. Now, if you play if you're on Google Play, you probably got invited to this thing um, where the more money you spend, you get points for Google Play, and then you can buy game coupons. Uh, with these right now, you have you can get an eight dollar in game game coupon, uh, which is pretty good. I've actually already used it uh, because I the the day that it came out, it's like, bro, you want double points? I'm like, yeah, I want double points, and it was like right when, right when like Meg Chloe came out, so I had to buy a bunch of Mystic Packs, so I piled up a bunch of Google Play points. So if you're not doing this, you probably should. Um, definitely, definitely use that cause you can get yourself some $8 in game coupons, which definitely helps out. If you spend money, you get money. The other thing too is personally, I use like, um, these gift cards that I get like free gas and stuff like that after a certain amount. So I'm getting free gas and I'm getting in game coupons off of spending on gotcha money. So there you go, guys. I do think that they are going to need to go back and look at some of these world boss uh, rewards because some of them are absolute poop uh, for sure. Definitely uh, interested in seeing how it is. I do like the elemental summons um, and I'm going to be rolling for Faithless Lytica tomorrow. Now, I only have 
I only have 2,000 Mystic Medals. I'm going to have to refresh shop a bit today. Um, so feels bad if I don't get her in those, cause then I'm going to have to wait until the first of the month to buy the mystic packs. But I do think that she's going to be strong. People are going to find some cool builds with her. And again, I'm hoping that we get a dev announcement, like the dev notes here soon. Um, but yeah, I will cover some of the stuff that I saw earlier. I didn't go over everything, but it does look like actually, you know what here, let me see if I can pull this up right. I can. Okay. Fantastic. So I don't know anything about this character, but this was shown during the Korean live stream. Um, unfortunately it looks like another ice character, um, yeah, also Epic 7 Like is a new coupon. So you go into the game. Actually, I will uh, see. So um, I'll post this up on my Twitter. If you haven't followed, make sure you follow me on Twitter. I I comment about a bunch of this stuff. Uh, so I actually don't really remember this girl's name at all. So let's see. Open originals. So this is the character. Can we bring this down to a normal size? So, yeah, she looks ice. Uh, yeah, she is ice literally up here. Ice soul weaver. Interesting. Uh, has a passive on her S two. She looks like she hits everybody with her S three, which is pretty cool. She's got a harp, got a harp ice star thing. Um, probably going to be an interesting character. This is probably going to be the limited character. Um, I was hoping for Pavel. So actually we'll probably get this. This will be the five star Pavel will probably be a four star like expected, uh, mostly just because of his background, stuff like that. Uh, but I'm sure we'll get more information on this character as the data mines come out after all of the maintenance and all of the patch stuff goes live. But let me know in the comments what you think about all of this stuff. And I'm going to go get some tea. I'm going to wake myself up and I am going to read through these stove comments. And uh, yeah, if you didn't know, I will be streaming 24 hours for Black Friday starting like... 7, 8, 8 p.m., 8, 8 or 9 p.m. Thursday. Follow my Twitter, join my Discord, and I will let you guys know exactly when I am. Uh, but I will be streaming Epic 7 um, and a couple other games for 24 hours for Black Friday. And like I said earlier, if you are looking for a PvP Guild Wars centric guild that's going to be pushing world boss or trying to, anyways. Uh, let me know. The Shogunate is recruiting, I think, four. We've got four spots three or four spots, um, join the discord, reach out to me, snow paychecks, uh, or somebody you can get, some, you can get a hold of somebody. And, um, yeah, regardless, I'm hype for a lot of this information. And I'm also hype for people saying dead game. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you're hyped for. And I will catch you guys later. Take it easy, homies. Peace. Yeah.